Here he goes again. Feeling the heat. Medina now starting to drive. He pulls into the barrel. He's going to beat the section coming out of the pocket. Carves it off the lip. He needs a little bit more to perform on the inside. Grab rail reverse one more time to finish. As he is waiting for a lead change. Medina has been searching, throwing different types of maneuvers. Starting off with a barrel there. Remember, we always have to compare him to what Flores has been picking off. What about wave choice there, Potts? Well, it was, it was kind of a messy wave, but he manufactured a, a score out of it, didn't he? I mean, he got, a, he got the tube right, he came out, he did that grab rail reverse, didn't think he was going to pull that off, which he did. So it was an exciting wave. Um, matched up with, with Jeremy's wave, a lot cleaner, uh, maybe crisper maneuvers, but I don't know, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a tough call. Jeremy's, uh, we're still waiting for Jeremy's last score to get locked in. He's trying to better a 7.07. .07. Scores dropping now at the moment. Gabriel Medina needing a 7.91. And it's looking like he's going to need a little bit more than that, Joe. Jeremy Flores is so fired up in this contest, backing himself on the QS, as he is maybe turning in one of his best heat performances of the season. Let's take another look. Yeah, I love this right here as he fades right off the bottom. Now he draws off the top. Beautiful body extension right there. And now the wave starts to hit the bank. Jeremy starts to unload some big turns. Nice, clean surfing right there from Jeremy Flores. And look at the score, Joe. 7.77. 7 .77. Hitting the jackpot on the last of Flores. 15.77 7 7 total out front. Medina now needs an 8.6 to move on into round four with 35 seconds to go. And remember, this is a man that gets multiple tens. Medina, a couple tens in Rio. 10 and Chopu in the semifinal. He lost to John John. Now at 22 seconds to go. We'll see if Medina can pull off a miracle here. Yes, well, he needs a big score, doesn't he? 8.60 on that uh, reverse Jeremy. Here he goes again. Jeremy now setting up maybe his final wave with 10 seconds to go. And he's going to take this one into the beach. So now looking at the time winding down. Remember, we do have a score we're waiting for from Gabriel Medina to see if it's going to be enough. Wow. He'll get into this one and ride into the beach and wait the outcome of the matchup. Interesting last exchange where he got the barrel, did the reverse, and stayed on his feet on that last exchange. A much different approach from the regular foot power hacks from Jer Jeremy Flores here. You know, Jeremy just looked more comfortable, I think. You know, I mean, hey, listen, take nothing away from Gabriel Medina. He surfed incredible did stuff that most humans cannot do. Let's have a look at this one right here. As he pulls into the barrel, sort of double section, comes out, little turn there, a little, little bit of a mistake, little stumble right there, and then he gets going again and goes into that rail grab reverse. Thought he was going to sort of fall off on that, but managed to pull it off. Scores dropping, Joe. Have a look at that. A 6.03, and it's not enough. Gabriel Medina eliminated by Jeremy Flores, and now it'll be so interesting in the title showdown Without Gabriel Medina in the contest, John John Florence can go on to win this contest and win oh, his first world title, potentially a stop early before we go to Pipeline. Wow. Talk about exciting stuff right there. Jeremy Flores taking out two title hopes. Matty Wilco in round number two and Gabriel Medina in round three. Look at the passion right there from Flores. Jeremy Flores came down to the beach today with a smile, almost like he knew the outcome of the matchup before it got started. They've had some previous history in the past. Jeremy Flores with two previous wins, one over Medina at Chopu, now makes it 3-1 to one all time. So he's found some sort of magic and one's most competitive, amazing surfers on tour. Let's get caught up now with the world title showdown. Jeremy Flores taking out Medina, so now Florence, if he wins the contest, he will win this world title this year in 2016. What a huge scenario unfolding pots. So Joe, if, Jer if John gets second, Gabriel needed to get a nine to keep the world title race alive. Smith, Jody Smith still in, uh, in the running. If he wins this event, he keeps his dreams alive. So there's a couple more scenarios left, but how exciting was that? Oh, what a huge one there. Obviously, John John Florence, if he gets an equal ninth, that's round five finish. Jordy Smith would have to make the semi-finals to then send it into Pipeline. So that's the scenario we'll stick with at the moment and see how Jordy and John John continue in this world title showdown.